our words for today are frog, rain, water, which is pani, P-A-N-I, which I think I can remember that, mud, jump, peacock, which is more, uh, girl, ladki, umbrella, splash, and love, which is creme. What's the big shape for a frog? What do you think? Yeah. That's it. What's the next big shape for a frog? Okay, we can draw the eyes. What shape should we draw the eyes? Yeah. So let's draw the eyes up here because they're kind of funny. Okay. You want to draw maybe the legs next? All right, let's draw the back legs. Big. So what shapes can we use to draw the back legs? Yeah, okay, so we can do a curved line like this. You wanna do another curved line like this? That looks pretty good. And then how about the feet? What kind of shape can we use for the feet? Okay, so we can, yeah, we can use a circle. Circle, that's good shape. So you can use a circle, that's a good shape. You can also use a triangle. Right or wrong answer. Okay. All right. So for the leg, the reason why you're using curve line because there's a there's a the top leg and the bottom leg. So if we were going to draw the top leg, we can draw it out of rectangles too. And the bottom leg out of rectangles. And then your triangle or your circle for the foot to get there. So when you do a curve line like this, you can put a line in the middle. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's draw the front arms. How should we draw the front arms? Yeah. And how many arms do we have in the front? Two. So we should draw two rectangles. Okay. So let's draw two rectangles. And then what about for the hands? Yeah. So we can do a circle too. So you could do a circle or a triangle, either one. I'm just gonna erase the stuff in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Now what else? Yeah, now what kind of line is it? That's right, it's a curved line, curved smile. All right. I'm gonna add some eyebrows just because it's fun. Real frogs don't have eyebrows, but we can do whatever we want. That way the, eye, that way the frog can go like this to you. Our frog can though, see? Watch, he's gonna go like this. See? You want to help me make him jump? Yeah? Okay. Let's draw rain and let's write the words. All right. So, how do you draw rain? Okay. Draw it with lines. So, we can draw like lines like this, like a pattern. So we can draw rain. So we can frog in the rain. Okay, and it's gonna cause lots of puddles, which is water. So to draw water, we just draw curvy lines like this. Okay, so how do we draw the lily pad? Okay. And should we draw anything inside that circle? Okay. Some lily pads have a dot and something in, like they kind of go lots of lines there, but you don't have to add it. You can just leave a few. Okay. So now we have rain. And we have these puddles. Is 
It does look good. I think so too. You want to draw a jumping frog? Okay. So what's the first shape we start with? The big shape? Yeah. So let's draw the oval. And so something I learned in animation camp is when you have a ball and it's, and it's moving, you can stretch it. So let's make our oval stretched. Okay. I'm actually going to redraw my oval. Let's draw it stretch this okay what's the next big shape we should draw yeah well, what shape should we draw for the legs and you got it and then so the legs are spread so we can draw one like this and one like this so that's upper leg and lower leg so he's jumping um should we draw the front legs Okay, what, what shape do we draw for the front legs? Yeah, okay, so let's do two rectangles in the front. What about for the, for the hands and the feet? Yeah, so we can draw circles. Okay, what about the eyes? How do we draw the eyes? Yeah. We draw two circles for the eyes. We can erase the erase the overlap in the middle. And how we draw the eyeball? Yep. We draw a circle in the middle. Now he's jumping. Okay, what else are we missing? Yeah. How do we draw the mouth? Yeah. Does our, does our frog have eyebrows? What kind of line do we draw with eyebrows? Yep, okay. He's jumping away. Cool, good job. You want to help me draw some mud? Yeah, how do we draw mud? So this is kind of water. How do we draw mud? Is there a shape that we can use? Yes, some ovals. And is, is mud, uh, is it dirty? Yeah. So maybe we should color in, what do you think? Yeah, so we can maybe color it in some brown. So you can make, you can color in your circles, your ovals. You can also make it a little bumpy so we can add some curve lines around it. Yeah, it's kind of like the water. The water is just like a circle with curve lines around it. That's a good way of drawing is you draw the circle first. Sometimes you can draw two circles and then you draw some curve lines around it. And the frog is jumping over lots of mud. Okay, thank you. Good job. Oh, let's draw a peacock. Okay, for this peacock, what is the big shape for the peacock? Yeah, and what's the shape that we can draw for the feathers? Yes, good job. Okay, so we're gonna draw the big circle first. Before we do the patterns, let's make it to the big shape, the middle shape, and the small shape. Okay? So what is the middle shape here that you can see? Yeah, what shape do we use for the body? Yeah, you can do another middle circle. Okay, what about the neck? They have big long necks, huh? The straight oval, oh, okay. Let's Actually, why don't we try a rectangle? Because it's kind of long, you know? Okay. Okay, what about for the head? What shape do we draw for the head? Yeah, circle and triangle. Yeah. I'm gonna have my... 
I'm gonna have mine looking to the side, so. If you want it looking forward, then you can do triangle and two dots. Okay, how should we draw the feet? Mm -hmm. You like three three lines like this? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Do you want to draw the feathers now? Okay. How do you think we should draw feathers? Okay. So let me help you with some lines. So do you see how these lines all come to the middle? They look like this. So why don't we draw some lines that go to the middle? Like this. Okay, and you want to connect to the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some layers. So we're going to then draw circles on the top here. So it looks like a fan. Let's draw those circles on top. Let's have circles. Okay. And then behind, we're going to draw some more lines that come out. Like this. Okay. And then we'll also connect them on top. Peacock has lots of feathers, huh? Okay, so you just want to continue doing this here. And then inside the feathers, what shape do you see inside the feathers here? Yeah, little circles and little dots, yeah? We got circles and dots. Okay, good job. You can add as many feathers on the outside as you want. More feathers. Good job. What do you think? Yay. Okay, let's draw an umbrella. How do we draw an umbrella? Oh, the J looks like a J. Yes. That's a curved line. What about the top? Yeah, a half circle. Good job. Oh yeah, like a little circle like this. Yeah. Yeah, draw some curved lines maybe. Okay. Good job. Okay, I think that's like a pretty good umbrella. Got yeah, the handle. Okay. So that is umbrella. We did not get to girl, but I think you guys know how to draw girls because we've drawn lots of boys and girls already. And splash could be little circles and you can make ovals. You can also make a kind of a tapered circle like that. All right. Wasn't that fun? And wasn't that simple and easy? All right, so if you liked that video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our videos. We make videos every single week. And we have a special step-by-step -step guide for you 
in the link below. So go ahead and click the link below and download it. And we'll see you next time at Creativity School.